I don't think Ice Cube knows who the puppeteers are. He understands that there are puppeteers and he can tell from his own experience both. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. Sean Diddy Combs, the powerhouse behind Bad Boy Records, has long been a titan in the music realm. But recent revelations threatened to shatter his squeaky, clean image. Ice Cube, no stranger to controversy himself, has thrown gasoline on the fire, leveling jaw, dropping accusations against none other than Beyonce and Jay-Z. What could possibly have prompted such a bombshell revelation? Stay tuned as we delve into the dark underbelly of the music industry, where alliances are tested and secrets have deadly consequences. I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. To understand the high stakes world of today's accusations, let's rewind the clock and trace the evolution of two hip hop titans, Jay-Z and Diddy, whose trajectories are interwoven with a tapestry of crime and ambition. Both men rose from humble beginnings, navigating through the gritty streets of their respective neighborhoods. Jay-Z, formerly known as Sean Corey Carter, hustled his way through the substance trade in Brooklyn's Marcy Housing Projects, a world where survival depended on street smarts and ruthlessness. In his own words, to be in a substance deal, you need to know what you can spend, what you need to re-up. At some point, you have to have an exit strategy because your window is very small. Similarly, Diddy, then Sean Combs, began his journey as a radio intern, but his ascent was not devoid of controversy. A tragic stampede at a celebrity basketball game he co-hosted left nine lifeless, raising questions about his judgment and culpability. Yet, undeterred, he forged ahead, founding Bad Boy Records and catapulting himself into the upper echelons of the music industry. I've seen the media portray me like I'm a gangster, which is just not the case. Their paths converged during the notorious East Coast versus West Coast rivalry, a feud that gripped the world's attention and culminated in the demises of rap icons notorious B.I.E. and Tupac Shakur. While both Jay-Z and Diddy were never directly implicated in the violence, the specter of suspicion has haunted them, fueling endless speculation and conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. I'm a fight for my reputation. I'm a fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. I'm not perfect. But amidst the chaos, their friendship blossomed. They became each other's confidants, allies in a cutthroat industry where loyalty is scarce. As Diddy himself confessed, we're naturally competitive. Our plan was to always flip-flop on it. This was the year I told him that we had to flop it back to its original owner. Their camaraderie seemed unbreakable, a bond forged in the crucible adversity. Yet, recent events have cast a shadow over their once unshakable alliance. Ice Cube's shocking allegations have sent shockwaves through the industry, threatening to expose secrets buried deep beneath layers of fame and fortune. Um, so, uh, this is just crazy. Just read, read. Ice Cube's bombshell revelations have ripped open wounds thought long healed. Not only did he claim that Diddy and Jay-Z were complicit in each other's crimes, but he also dropped a name that sent shockwaves reverberating through the music world, Beyonce. Yes, you heard it right. Despite her pristine public image, Ice Cube alleges that Beyonce is far from innocent, privy to the dark dealings of her husband and his closest associate. According to Ice Cube, there's a silent pact among them, a pact of silence where they cover each other's tacks because they all have dirt on one another. It's a chilling revelation that paints a picture of a web of deceit woven so tightly that even the brightest stars in the industry are ensnared. If you're a halfway intelligent person, when do you start questioning how lucky some mother keep getting? Right. Now, before you start imagining clandestine meetings and hushed conversations in dimly lit backrooms, let's not forget that these are just allegations. But if there's even a kernel of truth to them, it begs the question, what else have they been hiding? What's the bombshell secret that Diddy has been keeping? One that Jay-Z and Beyonce have known about for years but have chosen to keep buried? I have to still say allegedly, has done things and allegedly participated in a lot of things that the public would not be happy to know. Enter the notorious Puffy Camp, a secretive enclave where Diddy allegedly wielded influence over a generation of young stars. While the public may have viewed it as a sanctuary for budding talent, rumors abound of darker, more sinister activities lurking behind its closed doors. Among the many whispers, one name stands out, Yuha Raymond Four, the Grammy-winning R&B sensation who once called Puffy Camp home. I moved to New York City. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy. According to shocking revelations unearthed by investigative sources, Usher's time at Puffy Camp wasn't the glamorous ascent to stardom one might expect. In fact, 
recent interviews and court documents suggest a much darker reality, one of alleged grooming and abuse at the hands of none other than Diddy himself. Stop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Usher, now a household name, was just a teenager when he first crossed paths with Diddy. Mentored under the guise of nurturing talent, Usher found himself ensnared in a web of manipulation and exploitation. In a candid interview on The Howard Stern Show, Usher hinted at the troubling experiences he encountered during his tenure at Puffy Camp. What I did say is that there were very curious things taking place and I didn't necessarily understand it. Usher disclosed, hinting at a sinister underbelly hidden beneath the facade of mentorship. But it wasn't just Usher's cryptic remarks that fueled speculation. It was also his adamant refusal to send his own children to Puffy Camp, a decision underscored by a resounding hell no during the Howard Stern interview. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> you hell know? no. <laughs> this staunch rebuke speaks volumes, hinting at the horrors Usher may have witnessed or endured during his formative years under Diddy's tutelage. Moreover, Usher's former bodyguard, Jean Deal, recently came forward with damning allegations against Diddy, shedding light on the true nature of their relationship. In a jaw, dropping interview with The Art of Dialogue, Deal recounted chilling encounters that paint a disturbing picture of life behind the closed doors of Puffy Camp. Stevie J, the Usher part, that that's a touchy situation, man. Detailing a particularly unsettling incident at the Swiss Hotel, Deal described a scene where Diddy engaged in intimate acts with multiple women, all while Usher looked on in silence. You knocked on the door. I came and opened the door for you. Puff went in the room. You came in the room and kissed that girl in the mouth. Deal recalled, highlighting the uncomfortable dynamics at play within Diddy's inner circle. He got on Shay Shay and he mentioned how great and how good Puff taught him and everything. Furthermore, Deal's allegations extend beyond mere voyeurism, implicating Diddy in a pattern of grooming and manipulation that allegedly targeted Usher and other young stars. Now, I'll let Usher explain that to y'all. I'll let Usher tell that story. But how dare you say a man that groomed you? You gotta give him a pass. Bruh, you know I know, Deal asserted, hinting at a tangled web of secrets and complicity that stretches far beyond what the public eye can see. But these accusations are not entirely new whispers in the wind. They echo rumors and speculations that have swirled for years in the dark corners of the industry. Stories of Diddy's influence over Usher's early career have long been fodder for gossip columns and music insiders alike. One particularly unsettling revelation comes from a report that surfaced a while back, suggesting that Diddy used to take the underage Usher to wild parties, introducing him to a world far beyond his years. While some may argue that it was merely a mentorship strategy to give Usher an edge, others see it as a troubling pattern of exploitation and manipulation. Level, because I'm seeing him go from his independence to then becoming Puff Daddy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I got a front row seat. It wasn't just about the parties either. L.A. Reid, CEO of Laffey's Records at the time, revealed that Diddy played a pivotal role in convincing him to keep Usher on the label when doubts were swirling about his potential. Reed admitted contemplating dropping the young star, but was persuaded otherwise by Diddy's unwavering belief in Usher's future success. This revelation adds another layer to the complex dynamics between Diddy and Usher, suggesting a relationship that extended far beyond the boundaries of mentorship. Moreover, whispers of a deeper connection between Diddy and Usher have persisted throughout the years, fueled by cryptic hints and suggestive comments. One such instance occurred during Usher's appearance on The Howard Stern Show, where he alluded to curious things happening during his time at Puffy Camp, stopping short of divulging explicit details but leaving listeners with a sense of unease. And then there are the rumors of a closer than professional relationship between Diddy and Usher, fueled by tantalizing glimpses into their interactions at private gatherings and industry events. Old videos from lavish parties and studio sessions resurface, capturing moments that hint at a deeper connection between the two men. This is my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's out. As these old rumors resurface in the wake of Ice Cube's bombshell allegations, it's clear that the shadows of the past cast long, dark tendrils into the present. What started as whispers and murmurs has now erupted into a full-blown storm of controversy, threatening to expose the skeletons lurking in the closets of hip-hop's elite. But let's circle back to Ice Cube's explosive accusations against none other than Beyonce and Jay-Z. The plot thickens as we delve deeper into the implications of these claims. It's not just about what Diddy may have done, but rather who else might be implicated in his alleged misdeeds. Ice Cube isn't mincing words when he suggests that Beyonce and Jay-Z weren't just bystanders to Diddy's activities. They were active participants. Imagine the power dynamics at play here. A trio of music industry royalty, each with their own empire to protect. If Diddy goes down, who's to say he won't take Beyonce and Jay-Z with him? 
best of both worlds. Nobody talks about that. Nobody project. talks about this shit. Nobody they, they, talks they, about that project. Swept, that swept that smooth under the rug. Why? <laughs> it's a chilling thought, but one that adds another layer of intrigue to this already convoluted saga. Could it be that the music industry's golden couple, known for their impeccable public image, have been hiding a dark secret all along? The mere possibility sends shockwaves through the entertainment world, leaving fans and insiders alike reeling from the implications. Moreover, the idea that Beyonce and Jay-Z may have been complicit in Diddy's alleged crimes raises questions about their motives. Are they simply trying to protect their own reputations? Or is there something more sinister at play? Ice Cube seems to think so, painting a picture of a tightly knit circle of power where loyalty is paramount, even at the expense of morality. Now it's your turn to weigh in on this explosive saga. What are your thoughts on Ice Cube's allegations against Beyonce and Jay-Z? Do you believe they could be complicit in Diddy's alleged misdeeds or do you think there's more to the story? Drop a comment below and let us know your take on this jaw dropping revelation. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed and stay tuned for more shocking revelations from the world of hip hop's elite.